Trigger warning. Overdose, unalive, abandonment, child abuse, child neglect, child homelessness. My dad abandoned me when I was two and now wants to meet me. I ended up living in six foster homes and faced a lot of abuse after my mom's unalive. Does it make me a horrible person to meet him just to tell him how I grew up? My mom overdosed when I was four. I was used to her passing out for periods of time, so I just made toast and watched cartoons at first. But on the third day, I got bored and went to play at the playground. Someone became concerned, and next thing you know, they're taking her away, and I'm going to stay with some nice people. Well, none of these people were very nice. I could go into details, but let's just say that I was removed from the first few due to a use. And by the time I was put in a decent home, I wasn't a nice little kid people wanted to adopt anymore. I was too old and an arsehole who hated them because I knew, in little kid logic, that even though they had red bunk beds and gave me ice cream after dinner, they would soon be like the rest. I eventually ran away when I was 16. My foster dad got mad at me for going in the fridge without asking. And next thing I know, I'm packing my bags because I figured someone would pay me to do SHTTY work and wouldn't treat me like trash. I'm 24 now, and my dad friended me on Facebook. We have the same name, and he sent me a long message about how he's gotten older now and thinks I should meet my siblings, etc. I hate him. Maybe I shouldn't. But he left me with a heroin addict and went on about his life. He has a family now. Well, cool. I never had one. Not until I grew up and started my own. I honestly think that letting him know I don't want to be his buddy, his son, or whatever he thinks he needs would make me feel better. I could stop hating and resenting him, unload it on him, and just move on. I also want to let him know that I lived in an apartment with my unalive mom for three days, and we didn't have anyone who cared about us enough to come by. I want to show him the burns I have on my arm. I want to let him know that I hid from one of my foster dads every night under my bed and prayed to a god I no longer believe in that he would just leave me alone. I want him to know that I never had real birthdays or Christmases. I wasn't allowed to go in the fridge in most of these places, and in extreme cases, I wasn't even allowed to leave my room unsupervised. Would this be petty and horrible? Should I just ignore him? Relevant comments. Have you heard his side? Did he know your mom had passed away? He did know my mom passed away because they contacted him and his relatives to try and place me. They weren't interested. My mom didn't have anybody. In classic 2012 Reddit fashion, People blame the mother for being a bee, so of course the dad would want nothing to do with the family, and that fighting for the kid would somehow result in him having no custody but paying child support, so a truly loving dad would just leave. Or something. I don't know, I lost brain cells reading this comment. Then why would a truly loving dad refuse full custody two years later when offered it? And in all seriousness, no man I know would cut off contact with his children rather than pay child support and only get to see them on the weekend. More rudeness, saying the mom didn't try either. So what dad did wasn't that bad in comparison to mom. They called him to see if he had any interest when my mom passed away. He didn't, and neither did any of his family. He then signed away any rights he had. And what did my mom do? Yeah, she awed. But she tried. She fed and clothed me and loved me. She was addicted to a drug, and it was a horrible thing, but she loved her son. He walked away, and 22 years later, he decided to see how life treated me. I was four. For two years, she did it on her own. He never called or checked on me, or send a dime. After living in seven fake families, I can tell you that not one treated me as well as she did. She was screwed up, but she tried. He didn't have the balls to try. Do you have kids? I have two. I've never spent more than a weekend away from them, and I can tell you that I would unalive for them. I would work 80-hour weeks if that's what it took to support them. I would do anything for them, but I would never just walk away and not look back for two decades. She didn't get full custody. She got left with it. There wasn't a divorce or custody battle. Technically, that was criminal. Maybe his life is better. But apparently it bothers him enough to write me a sappy message and ask to meet me. But the cost of him walking away is that he'll never be my dad, and I'll never grab a cup of coffee. A parent's job is to make their life support a child. And I have no respect for anyone who doesn't even try. Even people in prison write letters to their kids. More about foster care. I know there are good places. I stayed in contact with my social worker, and she cried when we met up once and said that I was her worst case because I was such a sweet, adoptable little boy, and I got the worst of the lot. And by the time she found a good placement, I was too scared for it to be a good place. Thanks for being a good foster mom. This gem of a comment by a commenter. Commenter, the only criminal here is you acting like he should have abandoned a good life over a mistake your mom made. OOP, maybe I should teach SX ed. Because you seem ignorant of how babies are made by two people. I also sincerely advise you to have a vasectomy if you think a good, loving father would act the way you described. Because that's not the kind of love a kid needs. 
Update. I wrote a message. Is this okay to send? I decided I didn't want to come off as bitter or angry. But I don't want him to still have hope of some kind of Hallmark movie ending either. Dear Jack, I am 24 years old. I am not the little boy who cried when you left. I am a man with a son and daughter of my own. I've never spent more than a weekend away from them. I am a father and a damn good one. I don't need you anymore. Once, I needed you. When my mom passed, I really could have used a dad. I could have used anyone. When she passed away, there wasn't even anybody there. No one cared about us. I spent three days in that apartment eating toast and just waiting for her to wake up. And then they called you. Because you were my dad. You were 23, young, but not so young, really. If you had come and gotten me, you would have had a son. I would have loved you forever. But you didn't. So I went to a bunch of people who didn't love me but liked the check they got with me. It didn't make them treat me well. I have burn marks on my arm, and I still can't spend time in closed, dark spaces after being shut in closets. An afternoon is a long time when you can't count. I didn't count on anybody. I used to pray the way mom did with me when I was little. But after praying for someone to come and rescue me long enough, I hid under my bed, praying that my foster dad wouldn't come in and would leave me alone for just one night. Just one night. I stopped believing in most things. I lived in seven different homes from 4, 16. And even with the decent ones, I was never family. I didn't have real birthdays or Christmases. I wasn't allowed to go into the fridge and just get food when I was hungry. When I was 16, me and my foster dad got into a fight over a ham sandwich. Boy, what are you doing with our things? And so, I left. 16, with nobody to call, and 40 bucks, I just walked away with a backpack. Anything could have happened to me. But I made it. I'm a man now. And I don't need you. I don't want you to feel bad. I just want you to know why I can't be your son. I'm 24 and have never been anyone's son. I don't know how. And I just don't have it in me. Jackson. Edit. He also wrote a comment on a post about kids who overcame. Well, I am not some celebrity success story. But considering my poor placements and the fact that I ran away from the foster system in high school when I was 16, I think I might roughly qualify for ending up a pretty average guy. I'm 24 and work as an electrician. I have an associate in it. Who would have guessed I'd go to college? No one. I went to school when I was 19, after I got my jet. I'm married with two kids, the oldest is three, and the youngest is seven months old. And I'm a really good dad. Which surprised me because I never had one, but I adore my kids. I would walk on fire for them. I'm happy. And I think that blue-collar, middle-class living suits me. I honestly thought I'd end up in prison or something, but instead I found this life. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.